Hi. In this program, we're going to take a look at London. London is the capital of Britain. It's a fascinating and exciting city with a very long history. Let's find out more. London is on the River Thames. In about 43 AD, the Romans built the first bridge over the river, and that was the beginning of the city of London. Until 1747, there was only one bridge over the Thames. Now there are 29, some for cars, some for trains, and some for pedestrians. Some are very famous, like this one, Tower Bridge. London has a population of nearly 7 million. It's a big city, but travelling around it is easy. You can take a water bus on the river. You can go in one of London's famous red buses or black taxis. Or you can go on the underground. Londoners call this the Tube. It started in 1863 and it was the world's first underground railway. Over 20 million tourists come here every year. 11 million from abroad and the rest are tourists from other parts of Britain. There is so much for people to see in London. Palaces, churches, cathedrals, the Tower, Trafalgar Square and lots of museums and art galleries. So what do people like about London? I'm going to ask a few people. Could you tell me what you like most about London? The shops. I love shopping. I like the variety of London. I like uh, Madame Tussauds. Shoes and the food. The clubs and the buskers. Well, London's got a lot of really nice buildings. The museums, especially the British Museum. I like the culture and I like watching the people. I like all of London. London has over 130 cinemas and more than 60 theatres. The first performance of this play, The Mousetrap by Agatha Christie, was in 1952. And yes, at this London theatre they are still performing the same play. It's a world record. But London isn't all rush, rush, rush. There are some wonderful parks, like Hyde Park, Regent's Park and St James's Park, where you can walk, jog, have a picnic, or just relax and get away from the noise. So you see, there's lots to do in London. You can always have a good time. Dr Johnson, a famous English writer, once said, when a man is tired of London, he is tired of life. Well, I'm not tired of London.